maxarama.com is an online beauty and fragrance supplier um, based in New York. It was founded in 2010 by a husband and a wife. They came together because they shared the love of fragrances. And the reason I agreed to um, share some fragrances I picked on their website with you guys is that I actually liked um, how they approached me. They were just so responsive, the customer service, everything like that. I actually have had a few companies reach out to me wanting to work with me. There was just different things that I didn't like about the companies. It's either their products or how their customer service, their reviews and how they approached me. I really enjoyed speaking with uh, Max Aroma customer service. I went through their website and chose two perfumes from Stephanie de Bruin and uh, Nino Amadeo, one of their scents, and Mask Milano, two of their scents. So in total, I have five scents to share with you today. I am so excited to have these as additions to my collection because, you know, we will have more and more time to spend um, reviewing and talking about these fragrances as well. So I hope you guys could check them out. I'll leave the link in the description and share with me your experiences with them. I hope they'll be positive because mine were positive as well. There's plenty more on their website. I mean, they have um, fragrances, of course, but they also have bath and body um, stuff. I saw some Victoria's Secret body creams and all different brands. Um, I also saw some pocket sprays as well of extract perfumes. I also saw that they sell candles, nest candles, Roger Dove candles, like max aroma so i'm excited to try these perfumes you guys i hope i really like them so then i can recommend them to you let's get started first up i have these two fragrances from stephanie de bruin um, this particular one is called cashmere and this one is called paris montaigne i'm so excited which one should i start with let's start with cashmere I don't know much about these three brands that I'm going to talk about today. I had to go and kind of read up about them and see if I was interested in trying any of their perfumes. Um, Stephanie de Bruin is a perfumer from France. Again, there's so much to say about her because I, I read through her website as well. And she sounds so inspiring actually. and. Um, there's this thing that she says, I, I'm trying to remember, I am a nose. I've always loved perfume. For me, perfume is a reflection of personality. It expresses everything about the person wearing it while retaining a part of mystery. That sums up my feelings too. I feel like perfumes, you know, express personality and also, you know, you kind of keep like a mysterious hue on you, you know what I mean? It's kind of intriguing. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that that's kind of my thing about fragrances. Now, I'm excited to try cashmere. I think I read the notes on cashmere and I was attracted to, to the fragrance that way. So it comes in this paper sleeve. I only re removed the plastic on top of the, the packaging. So I have not even tried them or opened them. We're gonna do that together. This is a warm, woody fragrance, and this is why I chose this one. It says it has sandalwood, cedarwood oil from Virginia, patchouli oil from Indonesia. Those sound like my some of my favorite ingredients, as you guys already know. Let's try together. Matte red box. Okay, simplistic packaging. Cute, is this glass or acrylic? Not quite sure but it's so simple and clean looking. The juice is like a light yellow tint and with this red bottle. Glass bottle, acrylic lid, white little red bowl right here. Very simple, chic packaging. It says Cashmere, Stephanie, De Bruin, Paris. Anything else at the bottom? Yeah, it just says, you know, made in France, 100 mils, 3.4 fluid ounces. You guys know I have to get 100 mils. There is no question about it. If it exists, I have to get it. Sometimes it's just more economical to go 100 mil because you save a little bit more. Chanel is a bit like that with their bottles. Why? Why are we digressing? No, listen. 
from the bottle it almost smells like a um, unisex scent oh okay I get the cedar wood it's it smells very musky and oily not not in a bad way this is definitely a unisex scent but i feel like this is like cooler weather the reason i sprayed it on my wrist was because you know i like to smell it on my skin and i just love the way it smells with my body cream because today i'm wearing <laughs> okay i'm wearing um this baby oil okay don't even judge it's the aloe one mixed with the vanilla body lotion from bath and body works but anyway this is why i spread it in the air so that i can get the true scent of it and um the cedar wood cedar wood is there but it's more cedar wood smelling the patchouli is making it more rounded the cedar wood is making more rounded but it's got cedar wood in there that you can smell and the gayak wood so the woods patchouli those are the ones that are standing out more but this is so pretty this is unisex this is unisex and it it smells a bit sultry so far so good um, you can see the oil on my wrist from where I sprayed so quality mm hmm good I don't think this has like a really wide sillage this is more like an intimate sillage like you know radius of what arm's length type of thing and yeah it won't leave like a long trail either but it's it's more intimate it's more um, close to the skin um, warm sultry skin like you know so it's really nice it would be a great um, signature scent for like autumn or winter and a man would smell great in this as well so I definitely think it's unisex so so far it's great I'm happy to have it I will trial and try these I will wear it I will get back to you on how I feel about it and how it's been performing um, you guys know I go through my collection over and over so we'll have plenty of time to chat about these perfumes again so yeah loving it so far it's good just look at this packaging you know simplistic but thought out you know it's thought out it's functional it's functional um it's not something i will readily throw away in the bin and i might even decorate this use it to decorate my room to sit like this it's not a heavy box but it's, it's steady enough you know what i mean if it was any more than this then we would be paying for the packaging but i think the, the price is fair so far um so yeah that's cashmere by stephanie de bruyne next fragrance by um stephanie de bruyne is paris montaigne it's an essence de parfum both of them are this one is an oriental vanilla you guys know why i would have selected this oh italian bergamot oil black currant egypt geranium oil peach apple lily of the valley rose violet blossom helitrope ylang ylang patchouli oil sandalwood mask and vertebra every time i hear oil 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 and perfume ingredients tick 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 you know you're getting some some quality and something that's gonna you know stay on the skin for a bit longer and something that's gonna smell amazing and something natural so that's i like hearing oils now oriental vanillas you know they're my thing and i was trying to pick scents that i think that you guys might like as well um so let's try paris montaigne okay same packaging just like the other box you know um wooden box red matte textured box with like the black trim 
very nice and same sort of bottle style okay it says Paris Montaigne Stephanie de Bruyne Paris and it's the same glass bottle acrylic lid yeah 100 mils made in France <sighs> okay so this juice is slightly golden yellow like light golden yellow as compared to the other one to cashmere let's spray in the air first wow this is lovely yes this is so classy oriental sweet because it's vanilla and very um creamy it's more like signature scent all year round type of scent it's not too creamy it's not too sweet and it's very feminine and it's nice i feel like if a man wanted to wear this they would spray with something else that had more wood in in the fragrance or leather or um wood or something like that to make it more masculine because this is more like a feminine um scent but it's definitely dense you know it's definitely dense i think that's like the center wood the other woods i think what's making it more um feminine is like the peach the apple the rose the violet is definitely in there i can smell that black iron you know bergamot oil is is very it's floral but creamy as well so and like a little bit sweet there's patchouli in here center wood mask and vertiver you guys know when i talk about sexy fragrances i love mask and vertiver and the fact that um this has rose in there it has um what's it violet yeah that's right violet what's that other scent that i love that has violet nirvana black one of my favorites so this is so good i feel like i love this so much so i'm wondering because you know these blind choices are just so successful i'm wondering when i listed the perfumes i wanted from max aroma <laughs> whether they were like okay this is a girl that knows her perfumes these are the scents that are just gonna be so beautiful i wonder if they thought that because so far both of my choices have been excellent i feel like this one is so much more likable as compared to the first one. Oh, it's beautiful and it it almost smells not organic that's not a nice word to use when we're saying we want to smell something that's organic no it smells natural and it smells um real does that make any sense authentic yeah cashmere and Paris Montaigne by Stephanie de Bruyne Paris. Both of them have been success blind picks for me. And my favorite, I think the one that will be the easiest to wear is Paris Montaigne. Cashmere for me will be a special occasions. This is more um, unisex, um, yeah. And this is just pretty feminine and I love them both. It's great that I had two scents from Stephanie de Bruyne to try. Um, the next perfumer, Nino Amadeo, I only have one scent from them. And although I'm excited to try them, but I think it would have been better if I had two to be able to get like a baseline of how the fragrances are, you know. But nonetheless, the one that I selected from Nino Amadeo is Fabulous Rose. Maxaroma.com also stocks some Nino Amadeo scents. Nino Amadeo is a French perfume brand um, founded by Nino Amadeo himself in 2019. He's semi-new to the fragrance world in terms of owning his own company, but of course he's been long in the fragrance game for a long time time so this is the first scent by Nino Amadeo that I'll I've ever tried and I'm gonna try that with you right now 
like I said I got this from maxaroma.com fabulous rose it's a hundred mil um, perfume eau de parfum concentration so I chose this obviously because it, it says fabulous rose it had rose ingredients in it so um, yeah let's see so this is a light pink box not as steady but functional you know that's it there so this is 100 mils i really like this bottle it's a nice clean simplistic bottle it's glass and it's steady you know um yeah so that's it 100 mils and it's like a light pink juice plastic cap you know steady as well and I like this. This smells pretty. Okay. This rose. It also smells green, like fresh, like a fresh blossoming rose with a bit of green. You know like in the in the amazon it's it's very clean like it's a very clean rose let me read the ingredients it is a fruity rose powdery iris woody citrus sweet floral earthy violet main accords top notes peach bergamot lemon and mandarin orange um, middle notes rose iris jasmine sandbuck base notes cedar patchouli vanilla and sandalwood and this is why i chose this scent because these ingredients sound like right up my alley i like this i'm not happy with the packaging though because it's a little bit let me show you again it's a bit too flimsy like one mistake and you flatten the box it's not as steady um i do like you know the bottle i like that and i like the the fragrance itself like i said it's a very like sharp clean rose um, very vibrant like it's the petals are opening up and you smell it's very fresh um, and the green as well it's a little bit green in there um, but at the same time it's very feminine you know this is like um, a clean what do I want to say like an elegant woman but um, very very stiff she is she's not approachable she's very stiff she's very about her business she will smile but she has this stern look in her eyes you know what i mean like it's not you know um a a friendly rose you know it's not like an, a a likable rose no so if i'm making any sense let me know <laughs> in the comment section yeah this is an early morning type of scent you know getting ready for work going to work you know she has a little briefcase and you know she's getting into her bmw you know crisp white top it's flowy you know it's nice but she's wearing a, a pencil skirt with office heels you know like prim and proper you know and yeah if she if she has her hair down it's down to her um shoulders it's it's cut and trimmed nicely or if her hair is tied it's it's tied right at the back like it's not loose it's not she's very prim and proper you know what i mean that blue based red lipstick that and very minimal makeup that's her and very tiny star earring all in all i love fabulous rose i think this will be I'll find an occasion for it. I think it's a great everyday scent as well, but more in spring and summer, um, in winter when it dries out on the skin and that bold rose, that, that lemon as well, you know, sharp and, and bright and clean. So I like it. So great, great. So far, I think this one will have more of a sillage, a very small trail, I think. Not, not a wide one at all, but yeah very nice okay of the three brands these next two scents that I selected were also high up on my list of exciting new tries from mask Milano I have this fragrance called tango by Cecile Zorokin Cecile Zorokin is a Paris based independent perfumer since 
2011 so um, actually you can find her featured in some perfumers videos or oh, what is it called like youtubers videos on YouTube and she's kind of like a guest speaker and she's talking about fragrances so you can go watch her um, just google her name and all those videos will come up but again I don't know her that well so I was trying to do some reading on her and she seems like a lovely person when I watch all the videos that she features and all the youtubers that um, have her on their channel to review fragrances so that's really nice she's always welcome on my channel so anyway today I'm trying tango this will be my first fragrance from her um, that I'm trying head notes um, bergamot black pepper and cardamom heart notes sunbuck jasmine abs damask and rose oil cumin patchouli base notes vanilla bean melilot abs um, amber accord leather accord benzoin and masks so this is a really popular one i can't wait to try it okay so it's on the very oh that is so nice very small bottle though you know what that means small juice so this is 35 mils 1.18 fluid ounces 75 percent volume so that's intense um, so that's the bottle there isn't that so niche looking I like this packaging so the notes are written at the back and I really like that Mask Milano's um, perfumes come with the scents at the back of the box as well as the Stephanie De Bruin scents it's nice when they have the ingredients or the the accords at the back of the boxes so we can know what we're smelling so this is the packaging glass bottle very steady very heavy nice I'm so excited to try this mm. wow the spray is amazing wow this is like private lounge expensive oh the way it's settling what does this smell like um mm, this is like private jet expensive smelling this is nice what is it those people who drink scotch on the rocks you know very very classy and it's drying down very smoky very musky yeah leather amber black pepper these are the notes that are standing out to me and the sandbag jasmine very um, creamy as well <sighs> leather this is a leather I would love this is more of a masculine scent but like I said it can, it can be unisex so it's definitely um, I will be wearing it but I just wish to wear this and someone really appreciates this and be like wow what is that beautiful well-rounded like a scotch drink not that I drink scotch but I'm just you know the juice and it's just I love this I'm glad I picked this scent I will summarize the perfumes in terms of like what occasions you'd wear it and why you would pick each particular scent from the ones I've spoken about so let's quickly get into the last scent that I have from Mask Milano so the next scent I'm talking about is Love Kills this is the packaging just the same as the Tango um, but this one is made by Carolyn Demore um, so Max Aroma, they maxaroma.com they sell fragrances from different brands and Mask Milano has different perfumers that create perfumes for that brand. All of these perfumes are stocked on maxaroma.com. If you're interested, go and watch them and see if you're liking the feel of their brand and their products and some of the scents that they review on there are really cool. So I enjoyed the sense of humor on the on the YouTube channel so go check it out but anyway love kills this is really creative there's a note for the love 
section or the the love notes in the perfume and then there's a um a note for the kills section of like the perfume if that makes sense so that's it right there okay so let's open it they're on there really tight another lovely glass bottle says love kills at the bottom this juice is like a golden yellow can't wait to try this this is 35 mils as well and the cap is on there really tightly what is this ah animalic so it's a bit animalic zesty um what's the word what's the word like tangy you know and bitter about it oh this is nice it it smells like a drink but you wouldn't drink it you know it smells like a drink but you wouldn't drink it because of the animalic notes in there so i really like this too oh i'm not deciding between the two because they're unique i cannot believe how amazing these fragrances are actually um i'm trying to decide which ones were my favorites but they all work in different occasions and i'm excited so cashmere like i said is more unisex um more special occasion for me you know winter um cooler months type of scent love this for more everyday even special occasions but more wearable more likable is paris montaigne by stephanie de bruin paris so paris montaigne is also a really nice scent that is more likable and wearable of course it's great for special occasions but i enjoyed this scent by stephanie de bruin paris so that's it there the packaging is good um, if I was to say try anything, the easiest try would be the Paris Montaigne. Go ahead and check out the links in the description and see if there are perfumes that you're interested in. Read the notes as well. Fabulous Rose by Nino Amadio is a very sharp, bright rose. Like I said, you know, the, the lemon in there, the rose in there is very clean. It would be a great everyday wear as well, even for special occasions. This is more signature scent worthy for everyday wear. It'll be great. It's it's very vibrant flower. Rose. Bold. Yes. Then we have Tango. Ooh, I enjoyed Tango. This is more like masculine, unisex. This is just private lounge worthy. You know, just so sophisticated masculine but yeah definitely we're, we're gonna make it unisex because it's so beautiful love kills if you love animalic um sweet there's a sweet aspect in here like it makes it tasty like juicy but animalic it's something you would drink but you can't drink it obviously because of the animalic note but i love this i love how both scents settle onto the skin and they just exude luxury you know they are all very unique like very unique one to the other so um if you like animalic scents this is blind by worthy i reckon so give it a try um yeah and let me know what you think and you know of course i'm gonna be wearing this and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna chat about them and i'm gonna test them out, out in public and see how many i get compliments for and what people say about them and i want to know also the longevity of the perfume so that will be great great way of trying them on now can we just talk for a minute about how max aroma reached out to me and i really like the respectful tone um i i like the um efficiency um i just like that they explained things to me i just liked that they were not forcing their way on me like trying to tell me what to do in my videos you know they just basically said these are the brands we're wanting to um 
you know expose so from these brands is there anything that you want to try or that you like um and i went on there and researched and i found these selections and i said these are the perfumes i want and they sent them to me it was really that simple and i really like that the other companies that have reached out to me i have a few that are you know okay too but the others they were just kind of like this is what we want you to do and i'm like no it has to be my opinion you know um my review i'm sorry to those brands but at the end of the day i'm technically not sponsored i'm not getting paid for these reviews so basically for me to agree to work with you your company needs to align with my values and my beliefs and if you don't then we're not fit for each other and it's really that simple because you know my first priority firstly this is a hobby for me and I really enjoy it and I don't want to reach a place where I don't like doing what I'm doing you know what I mean because I love fragrances and and I have been acquainted with some of you and I'm enjoying our interactions and I owe it to you to be authentic not going to do what you want me to do if I don't want to do it or if it's not right that's that's just the way it is thank you for sitting through this video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section your thoughts your ideas about anything to do with this video and these fragrances do you own some of these have you heard of these brands if not look go ahead in the description box you will find a link to the perfumes and to maxaroma.com great customer service by my experience just give them a try and let me know how you feel they have numerous things on there for you to choose and select different brands perfumes um bath and body like i said candles so yeah a wide wide selection of things to choose from and their website is actually easy to navigate so love that 